hiki ni kipindi cha Vuka Jordan kinacholetwa kwako na mtumishi wa Mungu askofu mkuu wa makanisa ya Grace Evangelical Church of Tanzania askofu Elibariki Sumbe akikuletea mafundisho ya neno la Mungu maombi unabii kufunguliwa shuhuda maombezi na injili iliyojaa nguvu za Mungu ishara na uponyaji Mungu ameniruhusu tufanye semi na kuanzia tarehe 12 mpaka tarehe 14 mwezi huu wa tano mwaka 2022. God have given us another favor to have another seminar in this church on the dates of uh, 12 to 14 in this May 2020. Na seminar hii itakuwa ikianza kila siku saa 8 mchana mpaka saa 12. And the time gonna be from 2 p.m to 6 pm kama alipopoto napo nasikiliza tafadhali usiache kuja Mungu alichoniambia kaniambia yeye anataka kulimarisha kanisa lake kwa kufunua siri ambazo zilijificha zilizokosesha kanisa ili kanisa lipate kustawi na kuendelea kuimarika God said he gonna review himself to review the hidden things that was making the church to be misled uh, for him he can put his church to be strong once again akaniambia watu wengi wanatembea wakiwa vichaa katika ulimwengu wa roho. He say most of people are walking while they are crazy in the spiritual realm. Watu wengi wamekoseshwa na adui katika ulimwengu wa roho wanaonekana ni vichaa. Most of people are being misled by the enemy so in the spiritual realm they appear to be crazy. Na unajua ukichaa hawezi akafanikiwa wala hana mipango ya kufanikiwa. And you know a crazy person or a mad person cannot be prosper or he don't have even as a plan to be prosper. Ukichaa wa ulimwengu wa roho maana yake nini? What is the spiritual craziness? Usikose kwenye hiyo seme na uje ujue yale Mungu anayafunua kwa faida yako na kutoka hapo njia zako, familia yako, kuduma yako, kanisa lako, nchi yako haitakaizuiliwe kama. Do not miss the seminar because after understanding the secret that God gonna reveal your calling your family your nation and everything will be protected Asante Mungu akubariki sana Thank you and God bless you Kumbukumbu nane mstari wa 18 anasema hivi bali utamkumbuka Bwana Mungu wako maana ndiye akupaye nguvu za kupata utajiri Unapokuja mahali kama hapa ambaye Mungu ameachilia uungu wake pia ya baraka kuponya kufungua na nguvu ya utajiri lazima umwamini Mungu anayesema ndani yangu na wewe kamshika yule Mungu kwa kumwamini ndani ya moyo wako unapomshika Mungu kwa namna hiyo yeye ndio anapoachilia ile maombi kwa uongozi wake roho ile inakuja ndani ya roho yako ambayo inakupa nguvu ya kupata utajiri Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Lakini wengine wamekuja wanaangalia kibinadamu. Sikiliza utakosea mahesabu ya kimbingu. Naomba usiwe na haraka haraka. Kwa nini wengine wanasema siku zinaenda? Sikiliza mwenye siku zako di Mungu mikononi mwake. Heri wanaomgoja Bwana wakijua Mungu amesema nao watapewa nguvu mpya, watavuka juu kama tai. Lakini kama unataka vitu vya kimwili haraka haraka my friend, tanaswa na shetani. Ngoja nikwambie. Shetani amepotosha watu kuzimu na akaachilia utajiri mwingi watu wamena utajiri wa shetani lakini hawana maamuzi ya mioyo yao wao waliuza mioyo yao kwa shetani shetani akawapa mali kwa hiyo wakawa chini ya himaya ya shetani kuzimu kwa nini shetani anataka mioyo ya watu kitu kilichotengenezwa na Mungu ni cha thamani sana ambacho ni mwanadamu Biblia nasema Mungu akapuliza pumzi yake kwenye pua ya mwanadamu akawa mwanadamu hai kitu kilicho hai ni kitu cha kiungu kitu cha thamani kwa shetani akawazunguka wanadamu yeye anaambia mimi nitakupa mali lakini we ni sujudie maana yake nataka moyo wako nipe moyo wako alafu mimi nikupe mali kwa hiyo anakafanikiwa watu wasema maana mimi nifanikiwe bwana kwani nini kwa hiyo anafanya agano kufanya agano maana yake umepeana moyo wako roho yako kwa adui kwa hiyo akakupa mali lakini uko chini ya nani ya shetani na hutatoka milele tangu anguko la adam shetani aliteka mali za dunia hii na anawapa watu ambao wanamsujudia yeye ndio maana wana matajiri wengi ambao wanamkataba na shetani lakini hawatatoka maana wamenyang'anywa vitu vya thamani mioyo yao iko kuzimu lakini Mungu anawivu sana na roho ya mwanadamu. Mungu anapomuona mtu anamtafuta yeye kwa bidii. 
kila anitafutaye kwa bidii bibi anasema ataniona Mungu hakimbilia yake kuwapa wanadamu mali anakimbilia kwanza kutengeneza moyo wa mwanadamu kwa nini kwa sababu amemuumba kwa sura na kwa mfano wake Mungu anataka ule mfano wake ukae na yeye kwanza ndio maana wale waliompenda Mungu wakaishia kwa Mungu kitu cha kwanza Mungu anaondoaga akili ya mali kwao hata kama walikuwa wana vimali mali unaona Mungu anaviondoa anaviondoa vinasambaa anaambia toa hii toa hii toa hii toa yeye anafikiri atabarikiwa kesho atabarikiwa Aa, anatoa havirudi anatoa havirudi anatoa anakaza ili nini Mungu autengeneze moyo kwanza ndipo anasema utajiri na heshima viko kwangu na baada hapo akishamaliza kutengeneza moyo anakupa hizo mali ukigeuka kanaona mali na kila kitu atakachokupa utamtukuza yeye itakuwa ni historia kwamba Mungu amekutajirisha Bwana Mungu anautafuta kwanza moyo wa mwanadamu kanisa ina gharama lakini inalipa church is her cost but it pays Ukikubali kwa muda mchache tu kutengenezwa nataka kuambia utajiri na heshima utauona dunia hii na utashangaa kubali Mungu aumiliki moyo wako Usidanganya na mali za kuzimu watu wanaenda kuzimu wanakabidhi roho zao milele utakuwa wapi na shetani kazi yake ni kuwa kuchinja na kuharibu Mungu akiupata moyo wako kaotengeneza ndipo sasa agano lake linakuja na kuambia nakupa nguvu ya kupata utajiri anaweka baraka anaweka uwezo wake ndani yako na wenye baraka za Mungu wana historia hata kibiblia Unamkumbuka Abraham ambaye alitoka akiwa maskini hana kitu huko kwa baba yake mashariki ya kati kwa tera huko Mesopotamia walikao kuwa naishi akaondoka yeye na mke wake na mjomba wake hawana kitu lakini ana hadi ya Mungu na baada ya kutengenezwa moyo na Mungu angalia Mungu akaachilia utajiri kwa Abraham paka leo kwenye Biblia imeandikwa na uzao wake wakati moja nilipokuwa kijana mdogo nyumbani ninaanza kwenda darasa la kwanza na la pili nilikuwa na ota ndoto kwamba mimi nina vitu ni kama naletewa madini mengi kwenye mkono wangu na mengine yanageuka kama vile dawa yanakuwa kama vidonge vidonge vya dawa huku naona ni madini mengi huku ni kama dawa nyingi alafu watu wengi wamenizungira wengi sana wale ambao ni wagonjwa nilikuwa nawapa vile vidonge vya dawa nampa mmoja mwingine namwangalia na naona uh, ni kama sio mgonjwa sana navunja kidonge nusu hivi chapu alafu nampa akibesa tu anachangamka akiameza tu anachangamka alafu wale ambao naye ni wengi lakini sio wagonjwa na nachukua vile vipisi vya madini ya thamani sana ambao hata mi kwenye macho yangu sijawahi kuyaona alafu nachukua ninawapa nikiwapa wale watu wanaanza kungaa wanapendeza wanakuwa matajiri amen so cut the diamond and goes to pieces and give to the people and once he does that he sees them shining and changed nikiamka hicho kitu kinanisumbua sana nashindwa kusahau baba yangu akaniuliza jioni moja kasema wewe tangu jana kuona huna furaha umekosa nini alafu nasikia hiyo kitu kinaniambia si useme si useme sasa kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mtoto mdogo kijana mdogo lakini nikawaeleza nilipoeleza wakaniambia imeanza lini nikawaambia wiki nzima naonaga matukio hayo matukio hayo ndio maana nakosa amani sasa nasema mimi ni mtu wa namna gani mama yangu akasema huyu atakuwa mganga wa kienyeji kwa sababu enzi zile waganga wa kienyeji ndio walionekana wanasaidia watu. Ukisoma kitabu cha Waefeso sura ya kwanza mstari ule wa tano nasema kwa kuwa alitangulia kutuchagua kwa njia Yesu Kristo sawa sawa na mapenzi yake. Na mstari wa nne anasema kama vile alivyotuchagua katika yeye kabla ya kuwekwa msingi ya ulimwengu ili tuwe watakatifu watu wasio na hatia mbele zake Mungu katika pendo. Mungu anajua wakati fulani utaokoka tu utakutana naye, lakini anakupa saini ukiwa mdogo kwamba amekusudia uje uwe nani, hata kama ulikuwa hujui utakuja kuwa nani. Nilipookoka, ndoto zile zilikuwa wazi sana, nimekuwa mtu mzima, ndugu zangu na wadogo zangu, kaka zangu wanazielewa maana nikiwa bado mdogo zilifahamika. Mwaka 1997 ndipo Mungu aliponitokea kwa moto. Nilipojazwa na Roho Mtakatifu nikaendelea kukulia neema ujumbe zikaanza kuja za watumishi mbalimbali mbali, wakisema Mungu amekusudia wewe uwe mtumishi wake. When he was filled by Holy Spirit and a lot of message was reaching him through uh, servants of God and say God have appointed you to work for him. Ndio maana Mungu akaja akaniambia kanaambia mwanangu yale madini uliokuwa naona unagawa watu wanabadilika yale madini ni watu walioharibiwa nyota zao wanapokuja hapa nyota zao zinarudishwa upya wa ule Mungu aliyotaka unarudishwa utumishi unarudishwa That's why God so 
The mineral you use to dream, you're giving people is that because these people that are here is for you to give back their light, their calling and talents. Kama na viwana wengine wanafunguliwa hapa, wanarudishwa nyota zao. Wengine kuna vitu vinarudishwa. Kama na viwana wengine ni wagonjwa wanaponywa. Ndivyo ambavyo Mungu ametengeneza kanisa hili kuwa msingi wa kimbingu kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lake. As how we see other people are being delivered, their light goes back to their lives and others are being healed. That is the foundation of Christ that he prepared for this church to represent his church on the earth. Nataka niseme But I want to say wako watu hapa watumishi watakatifu wako ambao Mungu amefanya njia juu yao walipokutana na mimi. There's so many people here God has made a way for them once they've met with Bishop Elberi Kisumbe. Iwe ilikuwa kwa magonjwa, iwe ilikuwa kwa maskini Mungu aliwafutia na heshima yake kaja juu yao. If it was sickness through sickness or poverty God actually canceled them and the owner came to them. Nakumbuka hata juzi juzi tu ndugu kama huyo njoo tu wakati maana hata niwaambia wagonjwa. A few uh, days a few weeks ago this man that was sick and the man of God prayed for him. Wangapi wanamkumbuka huyu baba? How many people remember this man? Alikuwa analetwa na ndugu zake na na mtoto wake. He was brought here by his relatives and his son. Alikuwa amejaa mauti amefika mwisho. He was filled with death and Ni mtu aliyekuwa na heshima lakini amepigwa heshima ya maisha. He was honorable but the Honor was finished. Na amepelekwa kila mahali ambapo wanasema ni watumishi lakini wameenda kumharibu na kumuibia vitu vyake. He was taken all over the places to the servants of God but they were not servants of God and everything was destroyed. Nataka ni kuhakikishia rafiki. I want to assure you my friend. Mungu haongwi na hela ili uponywe. Mungu haongwi na maji ili uponywe. Mungu haongwi na mafuta ili uponywe. Watu so, wanaponywa na Mungu mwenyewe. God does not be bribed by water or by oil or by anything or money. Neno litokalo kwenye kinywa cha Mungu ndilo naloza kuumba, ndilo naweza kufungua, ndilo naweza kuinua. The word of God that comes through the peace, the, the, peace, the mouthpiece, that's the word is going to heal and deliver and receive their breakthrough as well. Na watu hawajui watumishi wa shetani. People do, know, wa people do not know the servants from hell because they do not read their bibles. Mungu aliyeumba mbingu na bahari na kila kitu. Leo namuunganishaje yeye Mungu aliyeumba hivyo vitu kwamba ndio kinywa maji, kikunywa mafuta ndio Mungu anatokezea. Nani kakudanganya my friend? God who created the whole earth and oceans. Alafu natoa fedha nyingi unanunua unafanya nini? Mimi nataka nikwambie saa imefika itakuwa aibu yao. I want to tell you the servants of God who are teaching people to use water to use oil uh, that's when you receive your healing I want to tell you it's going to be shameful to them Baba huyu alikuja hatembei si ni sawa This man came here Suna he could not walk. Do you remember Likuwa hana nguvu hatembei analetwa sio mara moja mara mbili Siku ile namwombea nikamweleza neno moja nikamwambia kuanzia leo hautalala hautabebwa utatembea mwenyewe tangu siku ile ulisaidiwa na yote paka leo hii Tanke tarehe 24 mwezi wa 10. Huyu Yesu yupo. Basi bakof. Paka na nyumba nikaambia uzinaze na uchawi. Nikaacha gorofa pale nikaenda huko. Ukaacha nyumba yako wa gorofa ukaondoka. Gorofa. Gari nilinunua. Gari pick up ambayo nilinunua nilikuwa na wabeba watumishi nalikuwa na mtumiki ya Mungu. Ile gari niliambiwa kwamba ina uchawi. Ina, ina mikosi. Kila kitu kikaharibika. Kitu kikaharibika. Nyumba nikaacha, nyumba. Nimeiacha kule. Finally mke wangu akakimbia. Akanipeleka kwa kakaangu kwa sababu aliambiwa siku nne. Ninakufa. Lakini sijafa eti. Ujafa. <laughs> Jaribu kufikiri watu wangapi wametendewa mambo kama hayo. Just imagine how many people God has done. Imani ni kitu cha ajabu. Ukipindishwa tu, ukasikiza roho zidanganyazo na mafundisho ya shetani. Hayo ni mafundisho ya Mungu au ya shetani? Those are the teaching of the devil. As soon as your faith is uh, misled, you're Unaambi, completely destroyed. Unaambiwa gari ina uchawi. You're told your car has uh, witchcraft in it. Kama una uchawi si waombe liondoke uchawi. If the car is has witchcraft they should pray so the witchcraft can leave the car. Kafilisiwa kila kitu ikabaki mauti. Unaona mke akaondoka akaambia ndani ya siku nne atakuwa ameshakufa. Everything was Akakimbia vuka hiyo ndani kifo kikaondoka. 
everything was taken away, including his wife left him, but as soon as he crossed River Jordan, everything became back to Kama watu wanakuchukia, yuko Mungu aliyekufa kwa ajili yako. If there are people that are hating you, there's God who loves you. Kama watu wamekutoa kafara, yuko Yesu aliyejitoa kafara kwa ajili ya wanadamu wewe. If people have sacrificed you, there is Jesus who sacrificed himself for you. Nataka uone tu kidogo tu. Wako wengi sana. I just want you to see just a little there's so many. Huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu. This is a servant of God. Aliletwa na kijana mmoja. He was bred here by one youngster. Wakati huo amepita na amefilisika. He went through so much and he was Kipindi alikuwa na kampuni yake. He had his company. Ya watalii. A, tu- a tourist company. Kutoka anakoishi Kilimanjaro. From Moshi Kilimanjaro. Lakini akafilisika. But he was completely bankrupt. Alikuwa na magari mangapi kabla? Matatu bwana. Alikuwa na magari matatu na maisha yake yanaenda na familia yake. He had three cars his life was good. Lakini watu wakamuinukia wakamwambia mabaya. But people raise up against him and they were pronounce evil words. Akafilisika hata nauli ya kuja Arusha akaikosa. He was bankrupt he could not even have fare to come to Arusha. Na namtumikia Mungu na amejaa Roho Mtakatifu. And he is serving God and he is filled with the Holy Spirit. Lakini watumishi ambao waliacha njia wakamlaani but the servant of god that left the way they crossed him na wakati huo walikuwa wanamuitaga kila makanisa kila huduba wanatoa michango yake anatoa lakini mwisho wakamlani akafilisika hata nauliana when he was well they called him from the meetings and everything he used his money to serve god but after that they crossed him tulipoomba when we prayed mimi nilikuwa simfahamu wala alikuwa sio mshirika wetu the man of god did not know him he was not the member of this church Siku hiyo amekuja nikamwambia utalala hapa. Akalala. And he slept here. Usiku kucha nikamuuliza Mungu juu yake. The whole night the man of God was seeking God for him. Bwana kanaambia watumishi walioacha njia walimlaani. The servants of God who left God's way they cursed him. Bwana kanaambia kwa sababu umeniuliza nitamrudishia njia zake. The man of God said because you've asked me I will give him back his ways. Nilipomwaombea. When I when the man of God prayed for him. Akaondoka akaenda. He left. Kutoka hapo in, kwa ufupi from then in short Mungu amekubariki haja kubariki Amen bariki sana baba Amekubariki sana Sana Pray Yesu makofu Clap for Jesus the man of God confirms he is blessed Amembariki lakini hutaona anajiinua He is blessed you never see him lifting up himself Wala hutajua na utajiri alionao You ne- we will never understand how rich he is Cause... Mungu amerudisha tuazi yake wakati wa corona ananiambia baba mimi nashangaa watu wanalia corona mimi nalia na wageni wanakuja na wananipa oda ya kazi mimi nachapa kazi na chapa kazi He was quite surprised during corona he was quite surprised because people are complaining about corona but God opened the doors for him and he will continue with work. Sema amina kama unanielewa bwana. Say amen if you understand. Wale Mungu amenipa unagawa dawa hawalali tena magonjwa na mateso yanaondoka. Hawa nawagawia madini yao nyota zao zinarudi wanaendelea. Sema amina. Say amen. Oh! The tablets are contributed and they're receiving heal and the gems are contributed and they're receiving back their wealth. Na kikaona ni wanyenyekevu huwezi kuwatambua. Once you sit with them they're very humble you will never understand them. Mungu akimpata mtu anatengeneza moyo kwanza hata ukiwa bilionea watu ndio watasema wewe hutajinua lakini kama unapata tu hata kapikipiki unajinua hivi unajua bado bado bado. When, when bado. God lifts you up you have to humble yourself but if God gives us just a little bit and you start bragging just know that it's not yet not yet. Mungu anakupa nguvu ya kupata utajiri. God is giving you ability to receive wealth. Hii ni madhabahu ya kukuunganisha kupata nguvu ya kupata utajiri my friend. This is the altar to connect yourself to have ability. Hii ni madhabahu ya kukuunganisha unapata nguvu ya uzima wako. This is the altar to connect yourself to receive your health. Sema amina kama unanielewa kanisa. Amen if you understand church. Bibi sema ni teni nitawaitikia nitaonyesha mambo mak- kubwa magumu msiyojua. The Bible says call me and I will hear you. I will show you hard things that you, will, you do not understand. Leo ni siku yako. Today is your day. Kama ni mgonjwa unapona. If you are sick you're going to receive your healing. Kama ni umasikini leo unabadilishiwa nyota yako itarudishwa. If you're poor your shining star is coming back to you. Uko tayari? Are you ready? Moyo wako uko tayari? Is your heart ready? Moyo wako usiwe na shida na mwanadamu hawa yote. Let your heart not have any problem with any human. Hata kama wamekubaka, achana na wanadamu, madam Ujafa, leo uko mahali hapa, achana na wanadamu. Concentrate kwa Bwana. It 
doesn't matter what they have done to you, even if they raped you, just leave them alone and let go because today is your day. Hata kama wamekuambia utakufa na kuambia hakika leo hutakufa kuanzia leo historia yako inasomwa na wao wataisoma watakuwa mashahidi Even if they told you that you're going to die you're not going to die your history is going to be read today Baba tazama watu wako ambao wamekuja wana mateso ya nguvu za giza For the look at your people that came here and they're suffering with the evil spirit power Wamepewa vitu ambavyo havikustahili vikaingia kwenye miili yao na kwenye fahamu zao they were given things that they were not worthy they in their mindset and in their bodies na kuna watu ambao wamewaleta Mungu wamefungwa baraka zao and there are people that you brought them here and they are in bondage their blessings are in bondage kuna kisasi kinamfuatilia mtu hapa there's a revenge that is following one person here kama ulipoanza kupanga mipango yako unaona matukio yanaanza kuwa mabaya since you started planning your things you can see uh, bad things happening na unampenda mungu and you love god raya kisasi the spirit of revenge inakutenga wewe kwenye ndoa yako that is this this Inakutenga kazini kwako. Inakutenga kwenye maisha yako. Raha ya kisasi. Inatoka kuzimu. Raha ya kisasi. Ina mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Yes. Ndio. Kamata paka kule nyumba. Please hold on those people the way back. Jesus. Yesu. Raha ya kisasi inabomolewa. The spirit of revenge is breaking. Roho ya kisasi lionena mabaya juu yako. The spirit of revenge that was pronounced evil words over you. Watu walio kuchafua kwa kisasi. The people who destroy you with revenge. Watu walikuchukia wakasema umekuwa mshukule kwa sababu ustao haupo. Hiyo ni kisasi. The people hated you and they said you become like a zombie. That is the revenge. Kisasi kinaondoka. Revenge is leaving you. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus yes. Christ name. Saidia wale watu hapo. Please help the people over In here. the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Jesus. Yesu. Bwana ananiambia na Peter. Kila mmoja anamkagua mahali hapa. The Lord is passing and he's going to search each and every one of us. Kuna watu walibiwa baraka zao wakaachiliwa mateso. There were people that their blessing was stolen and they were left with destruction. Kisasi cha mateso. The revenges of persecution. Uliachiliwa. They left you. Raya mateso. The spirit of persecution. Inaneno maskini na aibu. That pronounce poverty and shame. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Taka. Waliharibu ufahamu wako. They destroy your mindset. Ulikuwa ni mtu mwenye akili sana. You are very talented and very intelligent. Ninaona ulipelekwa kwa waganga. I see you were taken to the witch doctor. Wakanena jina lako, yes. And they spoke your name. Wewe ulikuwa mtu mwenye kibali. You had favor. Wakanena juu ya jina lako kwa waganga. And they pronounced your name in the witch doctor's house. Wakakuondolea kibali. And they took your favor. Kutoka hapo. From then. Mateso yakaanza. Persecution started. Umekuwa mtu wa kukata tamaa. You were giving up. Umekuwa mtu wa uchungu moyoni mwako. Kwa sababu hata ujui utafanya nini. Bwana anaambia naondoa hiyo kipali walichokupeleka kwa waganga. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hayo mateso yanaondoka. Na jina lako linarudishwa. Nafsi yako inarudishwa. Soul is restored. Kwa jina la Yesu narudishwa. In Jesus name is restored. Wewe nyoka, wewe nyoka, you wewe snake, nyoka. You snake. Nasema na wewe nyoka. I speak to you snake. Nasema na wewe nyoka wa kuzimu. Speak to you snake from hell. Uliashika jina la huyo mtu. That you capturing the name Uliashika of the Uliashika baraka za huyo mtu. You capturing the blessing of the Lord. Uliashika kipawa cha huyo mtu. Yes, nasema na huyo nyoka. I speak to the snake. Nasema na wewe nyoka wa kuzimu. I speak to the snake from hell. Ambao jina lake alipelekwa na wachawi. Your name was taken to the witch Every corner. corner. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Wa you snake from hell. Wale ashika baraka za mtu huyo. You are capturing the blessing of the Lord. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Wa kuzimu, you snake from hell release this person. Achilia jina la huyo mtu. Release the name of this person. Achilia nyota ya huyo mtu. Release the star of this person. Nasema fire. I Na sema fire. Na sema fire. Na sema fire. Wa kuzimu. You snake from hell. Na chilia moto wa Mungu kwako. I release the fire of God. Na chilia watu wa Mungu. Release the people of God. Ataka na mateso yako. Leave with your self. Kwa la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. Get out. Toka. 
Walichukua jina lako. They took your name. Walipoona wivu juu ya maendeleo yako. They were very jealous with the progress that you have. Na hii kitu ni serious issue. And this is very hit it's a secret place. Secret secret place. Listen. listen to me. Maana watu wanafikiri kuzimu inafanya kazi ya mchezo. They think hell is playing games. Inaharibu sana wanadamu. It destroy human beings. Ninaona nguvu ya waganga watu ambao wameenda wakapeleka jina lako. I see the power of witch doctors. People went and they took your name. Ninamwona nyoka kuzimu ambao ni shetani. I see the snake in hell it's a devil. Ndio ameshikilia jina lako. Your name. Na Mungu ananiambia. And the God is Hizi saying, ndio baraka za watoto wangu zilizozuiliwa. These are the blessing of my children that they are. Jina linawakilisha baraka ya mtu. Your name is representing your blessings. Bwana ananiambia. The Lord is telling. Umefanya maombi sana. Na wengine wameenda kwenye huduma mbalimbali wameombewa sana. And others they went to the other services and they were prayed over. Shetani mwenyewe amejiapisha asema hawa ni hawataondoka maana mimi ndio mmiliki wa kuzimu. You could not be released because the snake the devil is actually surrounding your name and said you will never be released because he is the master of hell. Bwana ananiambia. The man of God Wengine is telling. Wengine wameshikwa elimu zao. Others their education are captured. Wengine wameshikwa ndoa zao. Others their marriage are captured. Wengine wameshikwa afya zao. Others their health are captured. Wengine wamenenewa baada ya muda wafe ghafla kwa ajabu. Others they were pronounced in a few days that you're going to die by accident. Mungu ananiambia. God is telling the man Amenipa of God. Mamlaka. He is giving him authority. Ili awachilie watu. So he can release people. Ndio shikilia majina yao. That have captured their names. Na wengine wanatolewa kafara. And others are sacrificed. Nasema kila aliyeshikiliwa. Anyone that is in bondage. Kwa njia ya kafara. By sacrifice. Wengine kwa njia ya baraka zao. Others through their blessing. Wengine kwa ajili ya uzima wa mili yao. Others for their health. Wengine kwa ajili ya elimu zao. Others for their education. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ name. Nina kuamuru wewe Lucifer. I command you Lucifer. Wewe nyoka. You snake. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Nina kukata kichwa chako. I chop up your head. Achilia majina ya hao watu. In these names of these Hakuna people. Hakuna mauti kwa hao watu. There is no Hakuna mateso juu ya hao watu. Hakuna lana na maskini juu ya hao watu. Na fungua nyota zao. Achilia majina yao. Achilia afya zao. Achilia uzao wao. Achilia kazi zao. Kwa jina la Yesu. Unapambana na kitu kigumu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. You're fighting with a very bad thing in the spiritual realm. Hiyo roho inangolewa kutoka sasa. That spirit is uprooted from this moment. Unatenganishwa na hiyo roho. You are disconnected from that spirit. Unatenganishwa na hayo mateso. You are disconnected from that spirit. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Mungu ameniruhusu tufanye semina kuanzia tarehe 12 mpaka tarehe 14 mwezi huu wa tano mwaka 2022 God have given us another favor to have another seminar in this church on the dates of uh, 12 to 14 in this May 2020 Na seminar hii itakuwa ikianza kila siku saa 8 mchana mpaka saa 12 And the time gonna be from 2 pm to 6 pm Kama alipopoto napo nasikiliza tafadhali usiache kuja Mungu alichoniambia kaniambia yeye anataka kulimarisha kanisa lake kwa kufunua siri ambazo zilijificha zilizokosesha kanisa ili kanisa lipate kustawi na kuendelea kuimarika. God said he gonna review himself to review the hidden things that was making the church to be misled uh, for him he can put his church to be strong once again. Akaniambia watu wengi wanatembea wakiwa vichaa katika ulimwengu wa roho. He said most of people are walking while they are crazy in the spiritual realm. Watu wengi wamekoseshwa na adui katika ulimwengu wa roho wanaonekana ni vichaa. Most of people are being misled by the enemy so in the spiritual realm they appear to be crazy. Na unajua ukichaa hawezi akafanikiwa wala hana mipango ya kufanikiwa. And you know a crazy person or a mad person cannot be prosper or he don't have even a plan to be prosper. Ukichaa ulimwengu wa roho maana yake nini? What is the spiritual craziness? Usikose kwenye hiyo sema na uje ujue yale Mungu anayafunua kwa faida yako na kutoka hapo njia zako familia yako kuduma yako kanisa lako nchi yako haitakai zuiliwe kama Do not miss the seminar because after understanding the secret that God gonna reveal your calling your family your nation and everything will be protected Asante Mungu akubariki sana Thank you and God bless you